Basic essentials. Sometimes they can be a little bit boring, but you need them. In your closet, you gotta have variety, you gotta have balance, and the basic essentials just hold everything together. So you need those, but sometimes they can be a little bit boring. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five options that aren't boring. And there's no crazy cheat code behind this or anything. We're just gonna incorporate a little bit more color than the standard navy, white, black, and gray stuff that you see a lot of people recommend for basics. So I'm gonna incorporate some colors in here and a little bit of details that show you why these basic colorful items kind of stand out more than the regular stuff. And everything I'm gonna show you here is affordable or on sale. It's reasonably priced stuff, so that is always a nice little bonus. Let's dive into it. Okay, starting things off, we have a hooded sweatshirt from Ralph Lauren. Now, as you can see, it is in this Kelly green color, and Kelly green is one of those colors that if you tweak it just a little bit, it can either look really good or really bad. As a barometer for Kelly Green, I think of, you know when you play like a recreational sport like either soccer or basketball and they give you the free shirt? It's always a cheap Gildan t-shirt that shrinks after one wash and there's a blue team, there's a red team, and there's a green team. The green team in one of those leagues, that color green is, is what I try to avoid. If you tweak it just a little bit, make it a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, it gets better. Now, if I didn't lose you, this one is a little bit darker and it is much better than that shade. It is that classic Ralph Lauren sweatshirt that will never ever, ever, ever go out of style. This sweatshirt is very much gonna be a classic in the hoodie game where the draw cords are that light off-white color. Season after season, Ralph puts out good colorways of this sweatshirt. I feel like it's very spring appropriate and the weight of this sweatshirt is really what matters. It's like a mid to light weight and this time of year, that is perfect. You can find this on sale right now. I will link it down in the description as well as everything else I'm gonna show you in this video. And if I skip over something that you're like, man, why wasn't that in there? Check out some of my other videos. I may have already covered it. Now, of course, we have to throw a t-shirt in here, and I'm gonna be real quick with this one because I cover it every year. And if there's something you haven't noticed yet, I'm covering the same t-shirt, literally the same one. This Carhartt pocket t-shirt, K87, is eight years old. Look at how this is held up. It really hasn't shrank. This particular color, they've discontinued, but there is one very similar to it that I just found on sale for I think $12. Obviously, that Carhartt patch there on top of the pocket provides an extra little detail that just a basic gray t-shirt wouldn't, and I'm all about that. Just a small detail with your branding there. A lot of times, this is a combo I go with this denim shirt jacket that I got from Carhartt Work in Progress. Subtle details, consistent fit, it's a good one. Okay, moving on to something lightweight from Nike. This is their solo swoosh jacket. It's like a windbreaker. This oil green color here is essentially a moss green, but it's very on trend right now. You'll see a lot of high-end brands using this color right now, and of course, Nike's not far behind. And it has the solo Nike logo right there, so it doesn't say anything else other than that single vintage-like Nike swoosh. And I like that because I don't need much. I just need a little Nike detail, and that's that. So this jacket actually retails for 155 bucks, and it's not worth that. Do not spend 150 bucks on this. When I got it, it was on sale. There is a fleece version, same exact color. It's a quarter zip. It might even be better than this that is on sale for 65 bucks. That's a better buy. I'll link that sale for you guys down in the description. I am 6'2", 185, 190 on weekends, and I bought it in a size large. It fits me well. Okay, how about some sneakers and how about something from Reebok? I got these shoes last week. Reebok actually sent them to me for an Instagram post I am putting up this week at some point. So follow me on Instagram if you wanna see more sneaker and men's fashion content. I'm at Eddie Wynn Kicks. It's a nice chill colorway that will go with a lot. These are the Reebok BB4000. Two. Now, I'm a big fan of the Reebok Club C, the lows, the mids, I've shown them to you a fair amount of times, but this BB4000 version is kind of just a, a beefier or chunkier version 
of that in my opinion. I like the Reebok branding in the back. I like how the toe cap is a nice light gray suede. It gives me almost like an old skate shoe vibe. So it's a good looking sneaker. The retail price is 90 bucks. So under $100, they fit true to size. I'll link them for you guys. And I am definitely going to be including these in my top 10 sneakers under $100 for 2023. That video will be live soon, so you'll be seeing these in there for sure. There are still good sneaker options under $100. Some people think that that has just completely gone away. Not true. Whether it be on sale or have a reasonable retail price like these, which is $90, and on top of it, these are pretty comfortable. For 90 bucks, they work well with my foot. It's a good shoe, man. Okay, moving on, we have something flashy. Look at this, bright, orange. This is just a standard brushed fleece button up shirt in a crazy orange color. Now for most people, they might be like, all right, I'm out. I can't do it. But hold on just a second. Now a shirt like this takes a little bit of skill to pull off. If you go with a lot of lighter colors styling this, you can definitely pull it off. And I view a shirt like this as a jacket. Now in the fall, this is definitely a good fall accent color as well, where you're mixing it with some camos or some greens. In the summertime, you mix it with the lighter colors and you think of it as a jacket, almost the same way you would think of a hoodie, where it gets a little bit chilly, so you throw it on at night or on a cool day, you wear it unbuttoned. I got this from Everlane, it's on sale for $27. Retail price is 90, you can get it for 27. It fits true to size. I'll link it for you guys down in the description. And it's pretty obvious why this type of shirt is not boring. Obviously it's vibrant, but if you tone it down a little bit with lighter colors, it is certainly a spring and summertime vibe. So before you get out of here, let me know what you guys are wearing for basics, whether they're boring or not. Down in the comment section, let me know. Thank you for checking this one out. Subscribe if you're new around here and definitely hit that like if you enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.